don't yeah like it's it's actually crazy because like we, we i don't think to this day we knew where the sounds came from i think it's a it's a mystery that nobody has solved because like when we got the manage uh, management got involved to a point because like you know everyone was pissed off with the noise and the banging um and management got involved at the point and they were like coming they were going door to door and like asking what kind of noises they were uh, I thought they were coming from upstairs, but if everyone says it's coming from upstairs, then clearly it could have been coming from downstairs, but sound travels like upwards in this apartment building. And so like, we don't really know where the noise comes from and nobody in the fucking like block would actually admit to it. Cause you know, why would you, right? You're doing something wrong, you know, and you're disturbing everyone else in this place. Why would you say that I'm the, you know, why would you be like, haha, I'm the, I'm the person making all the noise? <laughs> like, no way. No one's gonna say that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we, so we don't really know where it came from, but it was like a lot of like, hello, action center. You know what the sound sounded like? It was like building IKEA furniture, you know, but like you, you gotta do it yourself, right? So there's a lot of like banging and a lot of like banging. <laughs> so we were my fiance and i were joking at some point and we were like oh my god they're building their own coffin upstairs or downstairs or wherever they are because it was a lot of like hammering and like banging noises but we just didn't know where it came from and it's like every day without fail and i guess to a point you know people were getting pissed off i mean we were too so but yeah that was that was our apartment complex noise issue I think to this day, I don't really know. I don't believe management when they came by and told us that like, I don't believe that, I don't believe that it's the sound of old pipes because the management literally came and they were like, oh, we, 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 we investigated it and it was the sound that the old pipes make when the pressure changes. And I'm like, no, no fucking way. No fucking way. It's <laughs> fucking pipes. These old pipes sound like fucking kids running around upstairs. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. It literally sounds like footsteps. You know when you run on like marble floor? That's what it fucking sounds like. Pipe it down and I knew that joke was coming. If I see you fucking ass. <laughs> There were sounds of like the like a marble dropping as well. Maybe that one I believe. You know, maybe that sound I believe because it's kind of weird. Ain't no way in this day and age there are people playing with marbles. You know, there's a ghost upstairs in the pipes playing with marbles. Um, but like running, you know, the sound of like freaking kid footsteps like running around. No fucking way. Those are pipes. No fucking way. And the incessant like hammering. No fucking way. Those are pipes too. What's going through the pipes? What's going through the pipes that's doing all the banging, huh? Tell me. Somebody flushing down, like, a bunch of dead bodies, huh? <laughs> the fuck, man? It's sus. I know, it's so sus. They play marbles IRL? No. No. Fucking ass shitty jokes. All of you making shitty ass jokes. I count, welcome in. But yeah, that's just that was that was that one time. But the old man that showed up at the door was scary as fuck. <laughs> that old man scared me. If I if I had to answer the door instead of my fiance, I would have been so scared. I would have been like, Oh my god, old man, please don't don't beat me up, please. He showed up in his like white wife beater jack uh singlet. It was kinda scary and he was so angry. He was so fucking pissed off. For no fucking reason whatsoever. He literally, I feel like he, he, he went door to door, ready to start a fight with whoever was like, he, he basically was like, fuck this noise. I'm going to find out who did this. I'm going to, I'm going to find out who's making all this noise. And I'm going to start, a, like, I'm going to beat the shit out of them. And he was hyping himself out, hyping himself up throughout the entire, like, hike up to all the floors. I'm pretty sure he went to all the floors. Um, to yell at the one person that he might find that's making the noise. <laughs> Dude, he's an angry old man. <laughs> Just like, oh my goodness. He was so angry. I was so scared. And I, was, I wasn't even the one that was answering the door. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Rats through the pipes, dude. Really? Rats through the pipes? Also, like, this apartment building that we are living in is kind of, like, old. Dude, oh my god, I, I'm so pissed off at me complaining about the apartment building that I'm living in. <laughs> the, we have an intercom system, you know, the old school ones where, like, um, there's a phone in the unit and you get the... Like, the phone rings when somebody dials your unit number and then you give them access to, like, the, the door so that they can come up to give you your food or your delivery or whatever, right? That system worked flawlessly. It's an old system, but it works flawlessly, okay? Like, there's no problems with it. It's a little annoying that the phone rings kind of loud, but beyond that, like, it's perfectly fine. I do not know who in the management decided that, oh, yeah, I'm going to change a system that isn't broke and make it worse. Because you know what happened? Now, they, they introduced a new, like, intercom system, right? And so now it's it's via the app. You know, they, 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 they make everybody download a stupid app on our phone. And basically what it is is that it's, it's the same system, but more, like, it doesn't work. <laughs> it's what I'm saying. Like, somebody will dial the, the unit number, and now it, it calls, quote-unquote, calls um the resident's phone so like for my my household of two people me and my fiance it'll call both me and my fiance and the system will break if the call is answered like simultaneously sometimes and so we have to like when when our when we get delivery or whatever and our both our phone rings we have to like hey are you getting it or am i getting it <laughs> I swear to God, I swear, I swear to fucking God, I don't understand why they broke the system that was not broken to begin with, and now everybody, everybody has to deal with this shit. Oh wait, this is a, this is, this is a. Yeah, if it worked, it would be better, right? But, but it doesn't work. It doesn't fucking work. And then there are times where, like, the delivery person will dial the number, right? The unit number. And then it, it immediately, like, goes to nothing. Like, it doesn't even dial, it doesn't even call the phones that we have it, like, registered to. It just goes to nothing. And then the delivery person will be like, hey, I, I can't, I dialed your use it, unit number and it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> I hate this system so fucking much because it just literally broke something that wasn't broken to begin with. And then... A lot of the grab drivers and a lot of the delivery drivers here, they're really like extremely unfriendly. They're just really bad with life and I get it, you know, I get it. If you have to like run, if you have to do this deadbeat job of being a delivery person, you know, I get it. It sucks, right? But the money, you know, you have to make, you have to do the money sometimes. But these people are the least patient people ever and they're... There are so many times where these guys have to dial up and they're like, Oh, I've been here multiple times and this, this intercom system is so ass and I'm like, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you guys. Like, I have no control over this ass intercom system that they, the, the management has added to, to our fucking building, you know? Hi, Chico. But yeah. That's my uh, pet peeve with uh, my uh, shitty apartment. My apartment's not shitty, I like it very much, but you know, this this one thing of the intercom is is so ass. It's so ass! I don't know why they broke something that didn't need to be, you know? <laughs> why? Who did this? You want to know my conspiracy theory? I think, I think, I think, right? Um, is that somebody, somebody up there in the management probably had a friend that started this new like intercom business thing and they were like oh man i should support i want to support my friend 
Um, and they were like, oh, yeah, let's just put it in our, you know, in this in this apartment complex that I manage, you know, because then there'll be like a bajillion units that you can put on every single block that we have here. And so that's why they changed it. And now it's so shit. That's all. <laughs> Like I hear pumpkin's blood whistle popping, dude. This was supposed to be like a quiet stream where I just sat down and like do work. But y'all got me yapping, so here we are. Here we are, guys. Another yap stream where I yap for like 12 hours while I finish this art so that I can send it to the printers tomorrow. Con prep makes me very nervous. I will not lie. I wish I could get somebody to do this for me. <laughs> But no, I do it myself because I'm stressed out myself, to be honest. You think we'll let you have peace and quiet? <laughs> Power of friendship! <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> the power of friendship. Y'all, I'm so nervous. I don't think I will ever not be nervous for a con. I've done cons for like so many fucking years already and cons still make me nervous to this day. I don't know why I'm stressed out over nothing. I mean, I'm stressed out over things, but like, you know, most of it is like nothing. I've done this so many times already. Why am I still like nervous? Like, what is there to be nervous? Maybe I'm just generally a nervous person. The all phone calm system was doable. They didn't have to go and change it due to the fact that that's the problem things were to back in the day. They were making modern bullshit that obviously didn't work. Exactly! They were making like they were like, oh yeah, let's modernize the intercom system that we have in this in this apartment complex that has been like with us for many, many years, you know. I think people will appreciate the upgrade. But like everyone in this fucking apartment building is like so annoyed with the new intercom system, but there's no freaking way to like revert it, right? And then now the most annoying part about it is that I have a I have a phone in the apartment building that has no use for it. It's literally just on the wall. You know, it used to be the old intercom system, but now it's just on the wall, taking up wall space and being ugly on my wall. <laughs> It's so <laughs> like okay. I didn't like the 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 phone didn't bother me much because it it served like it has usages right. It has a usage, and it's the intercom system. But because they revert like they they added the new intercom system and we no longer need the phone. Now the phone's just sitting on the wall, not not doing anything. <laughs> It's so doo to water. <laughs> I honestly feel that the whole like upgrade hash <laughs> quote unquote upgrade to our intercom system was literally just because like a friend of a friend of a friend of the management. Someone in the management was like, oh, I've got a new, I bought over a new like intercom thingy thing. You want to... You know, and then it's like, oh, friend with friend, support each other, you know. And then he basically gave him, like, a whole big contract job to, like, upgrade everyone's fucking intercom. And now we are all suffering because of it. Probably relative. Yeah, probably whoever, you know. Somebody, somebody. Somebody knew somebody who bought over somebody's, you know, system or, like, had a new system. And they were like, oh yeah, I'll support your business because you support mine, you know, these people. I think...
it's just like consoles back in the day. The consoles can fall and the consoles, the consoles can fall and not break. It was very durable. Yeah, exactly. And now my iPhone breaks the moment I drop it on the ground. <laughs> back then, my 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 Nokia would take all the beating in the world and still be functional. You know. <laughs> Now my I can't keep my I can't I need a case for I need a case for my iPhone case so that the case doesn't break if I accidentally drop it. Oh, before this? Let me... This one? Yep. There you go. Nokia okay, is practically a tank. I think one of the saddest thing... I think I said this a couple of days ago. One of the saddest things was that Nokia was so ahead of the phone technology until like smartphones came around and Nokia Nokia just fell off the face of the map. Like they didn't exist at all. They tried, but they just they just couldn't keep up. No, I was wrong. It's okay. It's okay to be wrong. It's okay to be wrong, Daniel. Okay? Sometimes not everyone is as smart, okay? <laughs> I'm horrible. <laughs> Color burn, maybe? No, maybe do linear burn instead. Or maybe don't do the burn at all. Just leave it as the purple. Maybe leaving as the purple is an easier and a better call. Uh, maybe do 60. McDonald's used to be a great place back in the day. Like many other companies, their deal with Microsoft basically killed them off. <laughs> Damn, we pointing fingers at Microsoft now? <laughs> Are we all pointing fingers at Microsoft? <laughs> Actually, I can't do just normal. I feel like it looks really nice with just the... This blue. Hmm. Should we? Should we just shade this entire area of the wing? And then do... Yeah, we can do that.
We have collectively repressed that memory as a society. <laughs> I don't have the luxury of repressing the past. Eh. I think we all do. I remember back in the day. Back in the evolution of uh, technology happened, you know, when we... I was there when we made the swap to smartphones, you know. Blackberry was there. They even tried to... Blackberry was funny, I feel. Talking about, like, phone evolutions. I thought black the Blackberry evolution was kind of funny because they actually... They actually tried to introduce the QWERTY keyboard onto, like, a physical phone. And the, the, the funny thing about it is that it didn't, like... Not everyone was a fan of it at that point, but... If you think about it, right now, everyone uses a QWERTY keyboard on their phone. <laughs> I have to leave because of work. Have a good day at work, you. They went from being a very businessman phone to nothing. Yeah, exactly. No, nope, Germany still has quirts even on phone. Honestly, if you ask me, I like I like the feeling of like pressing the keys. I find extreme joy in like being able to like type fast on a phone. You guys get it? Like, you know, the if you use the number pad to type, you have to press like the numbers multiple times to get a certain like letter. I find joy in being able to type fast with those. I'm like I feel so pro gamer when I do it. Back when I was a kid, I was like, fuck yes, I'm good at typing. I'm speed typer. Speed fucking typer. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, right? You can type without looking? Exactly. They don't even, don't even need my eyes to type. <laughs> I think I can't keep this color. Might need to maybe do color linear burn, maybe? I kind of lose the vibrancy of it if I do linear, though. Which kind of sucks, if you ask me. We do 60. They like, too dark. Hello, sports son. I still remember being able to send an SMS without taking my hand out of the pocket. Dude, we all did that, you know why? Because, like, back then, phones were not allowed in a lot of places, you know, like school and everything. So we had to we had to pick up new skills to be, like, sneaky sneaky about it, you know? I missed the pay phones. I woke up a couple of minutes ago before I showed up in chat. I mean, you do you. You're in your own time zone. I'm in my own time zone. You don't have to be in my time zone, you know? Passing notes in class? Couldn't be me. I never did that. I don't have friends. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how are you doing, sports son? <laughs> Uh, I had friends, don't worry, guys. <laughs> T9 keyboard? What is a T9 keyboard? Hold on. You don't know how it works? Excuse me, Critter Stew. Are you, are you Bobo or like what's going on? Oh, don't worry about it, Count. Don't worry about it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> that laugh, though, we all, we all, y'all are here for my laugh, clearly. Cause you know, the people that are on YouTube, they're like, "Oh my God, your laugh is amazing." I'm like, "Thanks, <laughs> dude." Okay, <laughs> I get two different types of comments on YouTube for all the videos that I put out on that channel. You know, all my gaming stuff and all my YouTube shorts. People either tell me that my model's really cool. Or people tell me that my laughter is fucking good. And I'm just like... <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> I'm good that you enjoy my laughter. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. <laughs> you can hear more of my laughter. <laughs> it's the weird predictive texting that old phones had. No, you just have to... 
Actually, I don't fucking know. Oh, Dark took a break? What? I was about to... I was watching that. What the hell? Freaking hell, nice night. <laughs> hey, man. If people like my content, so be it, right? Oh, guys. I need to tell you guys one thing. I don't know what I did correctly, but like one of my, one of my YouTube videos, like the long form ones. Oh, my God. Yo, okay. I have like 600... Almost 700 subscribers on my on my YouTube uh, platform. So usually, like, my long-form videos, they don't get a lot of views. Because, you know, people don't know who the fuck I am just yet, right? I ain't no Jacksepticeye. I ain't no PewDiePie where people just watch me for me. Um, but in general, my long-form videos get, like, maybe 10 views, maybe 20 views at on average, basically. It, 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 it lingers along the 10, 20 views, which is, I would say, pretty good. You know, pretty good. But they usually don't do as well as my shorts. My shorts will go up to like 400, 500 views each, which is like pretty good, I would say. I don't fucking know, dude. My TikToks are like 200 forever, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong there. Clearly, I'm not I'm not part of the 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 the, the Gen Z Gen Alpha kids. I don't know what how to how to mix stuff with TikTok. But this one video of my Hades 2 gameplay where the thumbnail is chaos. Oh my god. It's got 2,000 views? I'm like, why? How? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know what I did right, but apparently I did something right. Maybe that tells a lot about the long-term value you provide. Technically, I, I don't know, to be honest. Like, I don't, I don't really want to get, like, bogged down about, like, the numbers that happens on my YouTube channel. Because at the end of the day, I feel like when my YouTube channel, if and when my YouTube channel pops off, it, it will pop off. And if it doesn't pop off, then we just slowly get there when we get there kind of thing. Um, but it's an investment I'm willing to make. You put beautiful women on thumbnail, what surprises you? Technically, no. I, oh, maybe. I don't know. The the video with like Hecate on it the, the, has like 100 views-ish, you know, not, not great. Better than usual. Dude, my Dragon's Dogma videos are absolute ass i think they're not worth they're not worth continuing the series i do gb i do i look at it like oh my god this is doing numbers i don't even know why i don't even know why but yeah my my dragon's dogma content is not great i think i want to continue it but also i feel like it's not worth it because it's got like 10 views at most which is like ass. It's kind of doo doo water. The doo doo water we use. Even the Bioshock 2 remasters is kind of ass as well. It's kind of doo doo water. Nobody cares about me playing fucking Bioshock. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I did right. I don't know what I did right with with chaos. But chaos, <laughs> chaos has gifted me a boon. <laughs> chaos is like, oh, you draw, you drawing me. <laughs> here's a here's a here's a little uh, token of my appreciation for your appreciation. <laughs> I am now a witch of chaos. You just need a controversial opinion. Just put big booba women that would do Jibby. Have you seen Chaos? Chaos has no boobs. Chaos is a being. It's a day dem, whatever it is. Start telling people you like Bioshock 2. I do like Bioshock 2. What are you talking about? Also, I'm I'm not one for like controversial opinions. My opinion is my opinion. I like I don't want to start shit, cause starting shit is kinda like annoying. <laughs> Like, being controversial for the sake of being controversial gets very tiring after a while. Do you get what I mean? <laughs> I'm so surprised that TikTok doesn't like VTubers. It's not, it's not that TikTok doesn't like VTubers. It's just that I don't know how TikTok works and I don't know how the audience on TikTok like enjoys their content, basically. I don't know how to, I don't know. I know I spend a shit ton of time on it, but a lot of the content that I watch are like animal farms and animal videos. So they're not like the gaming content that I make. And the very few gaming content I see on TikTok are literally like guides and how to's and builds and all that shit, which I'm like not into making because there's so many out there already. And 
usually for these types of content, you gotta be like the first one out. You gotta be like on that race to be the first one out. So like I'm I'm I I am like a one person army. I play the game on stream and then I find time to edit it for YouTube. So my YouTube content is technically like way way behind compared to my stream. So if you watch me play a game on stream, odds are you probably don't have to go to my YouTube to watch like the short form condensed version of the long form YouTube video if you get what I mean. Because it's going to be there like many many weeks or months like later after the stream because i've got to sit here and fucking go through my vods and all that shit i haven't seen any youtubers go live on tiktok i don't even know if tiktok is worth streaming on but again i'm not i'm not a creator on that platform like i'm not a you know i don't i'm not i'm tiktok i'm on tiktok as a consumer i'm not on tiktok as like a creator unfortunately because i don't understand the platform whatsoever so here we are 